In the last lesson, we talked about the average acceleration vector. And we did define the average acceleration vector as the change in velocity per unit time interval. Now, another important thing that we talked about is the direction of the average acceleration vector. We said because it is a vector quantity, it has both a magnitude and a direction. But the direction should not be confused with the direction of velocity. The direction of the average acceleration vector is the direction of the change in velocity. In other words, it, it is directed in the direction in which the velocity changes. Now, in this lesson, we will talk about the acceleration of an object at a particular instant. Let me say that again. We will talk about instantaneous acceleration. What is it? Now, the instantaneous acceleration of an object is the acceleration the object has at a particular instant of time. In other words, the instantaneous acceleration of an object is the limiting value of the average acceleration as t or as the time interval approaches zero. What are we talking about? The instantaneous acceleration is just the limiting value as the time interval approaches zero of the average acceleration. This means that A is just dV over dt. Now, keep in mind that V is Vxi plus Vyj plus Vzk. This would mean that A, therefore, is Vx over dTi plus dVy over dTj plus dvz over dt k. This right here is ax, this right here is ay, and this right here is az. So this would mean that ax is dvx over dt ay is dvy over dt and az is dvz over dt this defines the x y and z components of the acceleration hence the magnitude of A, which is simply just A, is therefore equal to AX squared plus AY squared plus AZ squared. This defines the magnitude of the acceleration. One of the things that you must take note as well is the fact that V is equal to dr over dt. That would mean that A, which is dv over dt, will be equal to d dt of dr over dt, which is going to be equal to d square r divided by dt squared. This defines the fact that the acceleration of an object is just the second derivative of the position. One of the striking things that you need to see in this definition is this. 
A is dV over dt and V is dr over dt. If you recall, we said that because V is dr over dt, that means that the direction of V is a line tangent to the path in the direction of motion as the particle moves. That implies that if the path is curved, then the direction of instantaneous acceleration will always be directed along or into the concave side. Let me explain what I mean by that. So if you have a curved part, let's say like that, and this is the direction of motion. If I choose a point here, the velocity, the direction of V, this is the direction of V, this is the direction of V, but this will be the direction of A, and this will be the direction of A. The beauty of this statement is the fact that even if the velocity of the object is constant at point one and at point two, the particle will still be accelerating because its direction is changing. In other words, an object accelerates if three things happen. One, if the magnitude of velocity changes in a given direction. In other words, if the speed is increasing along a straight path. Such a, a typical example is when you are accelerating forward. The second case is, is in which the direction is changing but the speed is remaining the same. A good example is you buy a toy plane you, you, you have it in a rope and it flies around in a circle. You see, the speed of the plane is constant but the direction is changing. Because the direction is changing, it accelerates. In other words, the velocity of an object changes if its magnitude changes its direction changes or both its magnitude and direction changes as in a projectile motion as in a projectile motion thank you